oftentimes you'll get to the point where you have a lot of materials, a lot of textures in your workflow. And you have a scene that's totally messed up. What you need to do is now streamline everything. Very, very important that you do this. You know, things like this. This is a helmet. It should be labeled a helmet. Okay. All the history off this object needs to be gone. Now, what I like to do is make a new project for this. I like it name it conventional, like final helmet or something like that. I'm going to say accept. Now what I'm going to do here is export selection into this new final helmet as an OBJ. Notice my OBJ editor is not on, so I need to turn on that plugin. It is located under plugin manager and it's called OBJ export. So now I can export it as an OBJ. And the advantage of this, here I'll show you shortly, is export it into that directory. The nice thing about OBJs are for sometimes when you have a scene that has a whole bunch of textures and you just want to streamline the entire thing down, when I exported that, it exported the OBJ and the TIFFs that the scene needs in order to work. Okay. I'm going to make a new folder in here and call these um, oftentimes I'll include the layered textures in with this okay now keep in mind you're gonna let's just say I was gonna give this to somebody okay I have to make it very easy for them to know what's going on so I got my layered textures, I got my OBJ files. Um, next, what I need to do is streamline these OBJs down, be, or these TIFFs, because these TIFFs are huge. Uh, they rank up into the 24 meg, okay? So if I was to ship this off to somebody, those TIFFs don't need to be that big. I'm just going to jump into CS5 because uh, the fact that my CS4 has a whole bunch of stuff open. So this will allow me to, you know, nice clean Photoshop also. You do not need CS5 to actually do this project. Okay, so what I want to do this is save as. And I'm going to save these within Helmet. And I'm going to save them as TIFFs without layers. Another thing, helmet color. Okay, so there's that one. I'm going to do that again over here. Nice. So there we go. We have helmet color and helmet bump. All right. Now, new scene where I'm going to import that TIFF or OBJ. Sorry. So many file formats. Ugh. Okay. There's a brand new scene. Okay. The thing is black. What I want to do is create a new material. 
Lambert. Notice that it carried the helmet into it. So now that helmet naming convention came into it. So I now need to label this one helmet. Again, this is a time when you're you're taking it and giving it to another person. Uh, it's very important that you clean up things. This helmet is the old texture, uh, so I definitely want to delete that. This one is my brand new one. I need to rename that helmet. There's no textures involved yet. So I need to bring those colors in. And I usually keep those right in the open directory. Okay. I'm just going to expand this node. And double click here to get that representation on it. Okay, notice that these are not married to each other yet. So I could just right click or middle mouse button, click drag to color. I got this. Okay, that's nice and neat. Next, I need to import the bump. I'm going to leave it as one. And I'm going to make sure this has a preview to it. So if you save those out with previews, when the client gets it, they can immediately open it up here and see what's going on. They know enough to know that high quality rendering is a good shot within a game. Any, any game or slash person that makes game assets knows that. Okay, so file, save scene as. This is my final scene, helmet. There we go. And now when you give this to the client, uh, you just triple check, make sure everything looks okay. Like this naming convention right here, helmet color, you should probably have that same naming convention here. Helmet bump. Helmet color. That scene's in here. You're giving that to the client. You're giving them an OBJ in case they don't have that version of Maya or too um, not smart enough to open it in Maya. So you give them the backup OBJs. You include the layered, and then you have these streamlined TIFFs that are only 12 megs now. Okay. This bump is higher. It's uh, 37 megs. So let me make sure I included that without. So that, that's your game plan is to lower all these down and that's what is needed. So just triple check everything, triple, triple check everything before you get too happy with sending it over to a client. Okay, so this one is the right one. This one is the wrong one. So this one I can just go in here. Helmet bump. All right, so enjoy the series. I just wanted to show you the cleanup process and what's involved because it's very important to know that as, as a new student. Oftentimes, instructors will skip right over the top of that. All right, so have a good one, and until next time.